Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite breakfast casseroles. It's a French toast casserole and it's so super simple you guys. It feeds a crowd. It's perfect for that Sunday morning when you don't want to wake up and have to cook but everybody wants that classic Sunday morning breakfast. You'll have it all done the night before and all you have to do is pop it in the oven. So let's get started. So here we have a 9 by 13 glass dish and I melted one stick of butter and one cup of brown sugar and a half teaspoon of cinnamon until it was all combined. And I'm using brioche bread today. You can also use any thick hearty white bread you want like a Texas toast style. But what you're going to want to do after you melt the brown sugar and the butter is spread half of that mixture on the bottom of your glass pan and then layer six pieces of bread on top. Just squeeze them in as best you can. Then you're gonna add the other half of that cinnamon brown sugar butter mixture on top of those six slices. And then top it again with more bread. So it kind of looks like a sandwich here with that brown sugary goodness in the middle. So you kind of just press it all together, make sure it's in there really good. And the next step we're going to do is add in our wet ingredients. Here I have six eggs, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one and a half cups of milk. You can use any milk, and I'm just gonna whisk that together. I'm actually using 1% here, but whole milk works just as well. And you're going to pour it over slowly. You wanna make sure you're soaking each piece of bread. And as you get kind of toward the end, really make sure you're getting the corners and all the edges covered in that egg mixture. This is what that bread is going to soak up overnight, and it's going to make it so delicious. It might look like a lot now, but I promise you it's going to soak into the bread. The bread's going to puff up, and it's kind of like a take on like a bread pudding. So after you pour it all in, I kind of use my fingers, and I just make sure the edges are you know nice and soaked and pressed down, and then we're ready for our last step. So to top it all off, you're going to mix together another half teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of granulated white sugar, and pecans or any kind of nut that you know you prefer. You don't have to use the nuts, you may absolutely leave them out. Um, if you have kids, sometimes you know they're a little bit picky, you might wanna only put nuts on half of it. But you're just gonna mix all that together and then gently sprinkle it on top like this. And you know, there's no perfect way to do this. Um, so you just try to spread it out as best you can. If you don't like using the spoon, you wanna use your fingers to sprinkle it, that's perfectly okay too. Just make sure you use all the spices. So once you're done with the topping, you're gonna to just take a spoon and kind of get some of that egg mixture and just give it a little reassurance. Tap it down a little bit, spoon a little extra over the corners and edges, make sure that it's really soaked in there. And then you're gonna cover it with saran wrap and pop it in the fridge, you guys, that's it. When you wake up in the morning, preheat your oven to 350, take off the saran wrap, pop it in for 35 to 40 minutes, and then let it sit for about five to 10 minutes before you serve it. You can cut these pieces uh, smaller when you serve it, or you could give a whole, um, you know, two, two pieces of bread serving. So this could make six servings, it could make 12 if you cut them in half. And that's it, easiest breakfast casserole ever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave it in the comments if you try. I love hearing your feedback. Thanks.